Hello. Hello. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very impromptu. It's something that I didn't really think about. Um, my hair looks like a mess, so I'm trying to put it in a hoodie. I'm also wearing my glasses because I just really need to wear my glasses. My eyes burning from the pollen. That pollen is not doing me good. My throat feels no good. Wow. My last video I made was about Coachella, and now this video is about Coachella. I did a poll, and for some reason, you guys wanted a gosh darn Coachella video. I'm um, so that's what you're getting. Please me, baby. Please me, baby. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Anyways, hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today's video, we're going to be doing Coachella um, reaction outfits okay so while we're doing this video i kind of want to talk about my hair no i don't so before we get into it oh rogue hair i kind of want to talk to you guys about this little thing that i've been thinking about so basically we all know that coachella is a large music festival it's where people go and they dress to the nines basically and they spend thousands and thousands of dollars on clothing they probably won't ever wear again i just want to say like in reality it's not reality when you really think about it in the grand scheme of life it's not something that's super important and i know a lot of influencers really stress the importance of coachella and how important it is to sh basically show up and show out and i just want to say no i know it's really exciting to see like all the youtubers uploading the lookbooks and spending thousands and thousands of dollars on music festival outfits is just not it while this video is gonna be all fun and games i don't want you to take it seriously because coachella is not serious just the way people talk about it especially youtubers not even like really like celebrities in the mainstream media but like youtubers just take it so so show seriously and i just don't understand that just know it ain't serious it ain't it ain't deep <laughs> anyways rant over i don't want to seem like i am all like high and mighty because like i don't really well, i didn't go to coachella and i <sighs> wear the same gray sweatshirt because I have extreme body dysmorphia or stuff like that but i know i have a lot of young viewers but just know in the grand scheme of life it's just not important so saying that we're gonna react to some outfits so this first one was sent to me on twitter it was olivia Ruri. i don't know how to say her name i also want to say that as someone who is a fat person it can be kind of discouraging to see just a bunch of skinny people wearing these really expensive very cute outfits just because you don't really see a lot of fat people at coachella what i meant by that was when brands send influencers to coachella they don't usually pick bigger people to go companies like revolve and dote send people they're these like skinny white girls you don't really see a lot of flavor when it comes to the diversity among these influencers and that is also brands in general you know they have a specific look to them which is usually not bigger gals or or, or men and it's just a little discouraging that's sort of what i meant by that nothing wrong with skinny people just kind of annoying how we don't see a lot of representation with brands and continue on but all i really do see are skinny people is that tea? I don't know. So the top, that's cute or whatever. And those sunglasses are cute. But then we get to the bear down. <laughs> what is this? I guess she's got like a little mesh. A little mesh. Um, at Miss Mess. At Miss Miss Mesh. It looks like a mesh. Okay, so it's like pants. And then it looks like she has like a mesh sweater around. I kind of like to see the whole outfit. I don't know. Like, I guess that's cool. And it kind of makes you look like you're inside of a plastic bag. But what's the point? What's the point of it all? <laughs> uh. On to the next. Immer Chamberlain. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Immer Chamberlain. This is like not a bad outfit. Like the pants are cool. The top is just the top. And then, yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to be talking about this. I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you. Oh. So let me just say, I have been following James for a little bit. I saw him talk about how he had like all these fittings for his Coachella outfits. And I just gotta say like, is that necessary i mean like he looks good and like i i think the outfits are really well coordinated i don't know i don't really like the assless thing i guess for this one his ass is so round 
I just am so curious to know how much time and energy and money he spent on preparing for these outfits. Like you're in the middle of the desert. Is it just is it just me or does it seem so like counterintuitive to like wear these expensive ass outfits in the middle of a desert when it's literally so disgusting? Like I don't know if anyone out there has been to a music festival. Music festivals are so gross. Like you're just surrounded by sweat and garbage and people and all their bodily fluids and it's just something that I don't know. Like do these people not like get in the crowd? Like like if I bought an expensive outfit i wouldn't want it anywhere near people okay so we're gonna talk about miss nikita dragon okay so i don't know what the heck was the deal with the assless chaps but wow nikita's got a banging body also those heels don't like you cannot convince me that she wore those the whole time are you wearing that to the to the to the music festival no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am okay so this one was tana's she said tomb raider meets slut low-key this was like kind of cool like it's a very cool outfit and like those sunglasses are really cool i think that's pretty cool that shirt the goggles the goggles don't understand it who this who is this I literally have no idea who that is. Oh, it's Liza. <laughs> Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. I feel like the little thingies would be cool and like when you're swirling around the little like little little uh, little rope things. I can't what are they called? R banners? Tapestry? No. Tassels. Tassels? Okay, yeah, tassels. But it's just the heels. Like what? Why are people wearing heels to music festivals? Like all you're doing is walking unless you're literally sitting the whole time. Which makes me think that these people don't walk around the festival. Anyways, Denzel. I love Denzel. I think he's such a cool person. I really did like this. Like it it really gave me like an old fashioned I mean a nineties look. So I'm feeling like he spends a lot of money on these like they're not basic but they're very like normal articles of clothing i don't know like i feel like you could find pants like this at a goodwill for like two dollars but then again i don't know the brand but then again i don't wanna i don't know like you think i just don't know anything about fashion why am i making this video so a gal that i'm like kind of obsessed with right now is caitlin so here's my issue with caitlin's outfit i feel like the chaps like the the assless chaps were a little too baggy like she is a very skinny person i don't know maybe they're supposed to be but maybe they're supposed to be big oh god <laughs> indigestion okay so here we have we got tonner <laughs> we got tonner and uh, who is this guy lauren i don't know who this is so we have tana looking like a little bit of like a christina aguilera moment and then we have lauren with caged legs you see i feel like that's just like wasted fabric but then again i don't know nothing so we have mario selman i don't really watch his videos actually that's kind of cool to be honest with you okay question i've never been to california so i don't really know these things but is it like not hot in the desert or something because these people are wearing like pants and like long sleeve shirt like it's very dry so there's no humidity so maybe it's like so dry and breezy okay now on to my boys the dolan twins um just very simple outfits like very cool but you know once again i'm looking i think i'm like a louis vuitton bell once again they probably spent way too much money on these outfits okay so now we're looking at denzel and ricky thompson um these guys always show up and show out like just simple i love also how Den denzel is just like a a really tall and bigger guy he's able to rock a lot of outfits and he doesn't let that stop him like he's able to truly express himself not that he's like huge but you know he's just like a bigger guy um and i don't know you just see a lot of like i said skinny people like just not just girls but guys too and you know he's got a little chunk to him but he doesn't let him doesn't let him does not <laughs> does not let him stop him nope does not let it stop him denzel always brings the heat when it comes to his outfits he's always looking really good and honestly it's really inspiring because i sometimes wish i could like be myself and like express myself through my outfits but like i let just sometimes my size hold me back a little bit just because i'm not stereotypically what a lot of women look like also i don't know who this is but to goodness me she is working it it's this is reminding me of like a brat doll outfit we have miss billy i wish i don't really understand billy's style i mean like i get it like it's not that hard to comprehend but like what is it is it edgy is it skater kudos to her for truly expressing herself I feel like I'm wearing a scarf because my hair is literally gagging me. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, bitch. Here's a song about Coachella. Coachella, Bobella, Fofella. 
Coachella, Bobella. <laughs> I look like I'm wearing a wig. Oh my god. I look like a found a founding father. Hello, new angle that I look gross as hell in. I changed angles. Aren't you proud? Um it's just so weird how you can hear everything in these headphones. I could hear God, Jesus, Mary, Mother, and Joseph. Okay, here's my cover of myself. I'm the best. <laughs> so I got sent these people and I have no idea who they are. Who are these people? The girl on the right looks from, is that Selena Gomez? I truly have no idea. <laughs> is it Camila Cobello? They, they dead ass look the same. Okay, that's Camila. Nope, that's Selena. Did she perform at Coachella? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know who the blonde girl is. You know who that could be, though? That could be Kevin Jonas's wife. I didn't even brush my teeth today or wash my face or brush my hair. The one issue that I'm having with this whole thing is this f***ing novel on his chin. What is that? And honestly, <laughs> which one is which? I think the top one is Nolan. So, Nolan and Grayson. Nolan and Grayson. I just realized if it was Nolan, it'd be Nolan Dolan. So that ain't right, bitch. Okay, this is Selena Gomez. Is that G Easy? Okay, now it's Cardi B. I don't know who this guy is. Is that Herbo Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> Selena Gomez. Okay, that's my final answer. <laughs> I'm clocking it in. But that dead ass look just like Camila Cabello. It could be Ivo or it could be Ivo. It could be Ivo. It could be Ivo. <laughs> it could be Ivo. It could be either or. I had a whole coffee today and I'm still so tired. Who did this to me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear, Can me, you now? hear me now? Oh my god. I'm a dummy. Okay, guys, I'm gonna sing you a song about Coachella. Coachella Beach. Coachella Beach. Coachella Beach. Coachella Bobella Fufa. Coachella Bobella Fufa. Coachella Bobella Fufa. What if I just like cut the mic like this and I just went. I feel like I'm gonna go edit this in a coffee shop tomorrow. Except it's really hard for me to edit because I'm literally so crazy, especially in public. Okay, this is a song called Cella. Fuck around the All right. <laughs> I really hope this is not a stupid video. Okay, let's pretend I am Iggy Azalea. Ah, did you Ah, did you Ah, did you <laughs> This is a DIY brush cleaner, like makeup brush cleaner. I guess you could say I'm inventive. Um, yeah, I just got some hot glue. Oh, I have hot glue. I feel like. And I oh. Oh, there she goes. Oh, Miss Lele. Lele Pons. I gotta be honest, it's a little much for cello. You cannot tell me she walked around like that the whole time. Like, there's no way. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. When I saw this. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay, but where did he, where did those cheekbones come from? Someone sent me Kelsey, Kelsey Kreppel, 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 and Cody Co. And they like literally just wore t-shirts and like shoes, like regular schmegular shoes. Like we really love that. And we stand that. We stand outfits that don't need like a million things. Like I just gotta say like that's, that's probably like my favorite. Cause it's like, it's so them. Like it's something I would wear, like just a damn t-shirt. Look at them. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Just remember that nothing is real and everything is a simulation. And knowing that fact will get you through life. So, bro, who dares me to touch it? Ooh, I'm nervous. <gasps> okay, fine. I fall asleep to TikTok sometimes. It helps me go to bed. It helps me wind down at night. I used to use Vine to help me wind down, but now I use TikTok. Okay. You happy? Are you happy I said something? Because I wasn't. 
No. I can't get up. My back. Oh, my back. She's dead. I broke it. I broke my back. We should call it Toachella because everyone um, doesn't look like a toe. Yes, Gaga. Rickle pickle. King of pickles. Ricky Dillon. Ricky D. Snoop Dogg. Booty. Thighs. All right. Well, I don't have any more. So I guess this is the end of the video. Don't forget to on Cameo and send me something to my P.O. box because I like um, letters. So I guess I'll talk to you later. Cut your feel high.